Hello and welcome back to the next video in the Pig Toss game tutorial series. In the last video we got everything set up. We set up our layout, our project, all the sprites, the text, uh, even a couple of particles. We also gave ourselves the touch object and uh, we are ready to start making this do some things. So I'm going to hop over to the event sheet and I am going to add some global variables that we are going to need throughout this process. So I'm just going to go ahead and create all the variables now and I will explain how they are used as we get to it. So if you right click, you pick add global variable and this first one I'm going to call this canon side. And this is just going to let us control which side, which cannon our player is currently at. And we'll, these are uh, numbers and we're leaving them at zero. So right click, add global variable. I'm going to call this one dead pig. This will let us know that our pig is no longer uh, playing the game and he has died. And we will have to set up uh, the next event that occurs after that happens. So let's right click, add another global variable. I'm going to call this one game over. I think this one's pretty self explanatory. Uh, let's add another one. Uh, call this one score. Again, pretty self explanatory. And then the last one, this is going to be spawn speed. And I'm just going to leave all of these at zero. We are actually going to change this one later on, but I will wait till we get there to do that. All right, so those should be your five global variables that we will need for this game. So let's start making some stuff happen. First off, let's go ahead and preview. And you see what we have set up. We have our uh, score. This is going to be our, our text. This is going to be our score. Then we have our two cannons, and we have the play button in the middle. Uh, all this is good except for this play button. I do not want it there, so I'm going to add an event. System on start of layout and add an action and go to sprites, play button, and uh, visibility. I'm going to set visible to uh, invisible. Just to show you uh, what I'm doing there, whenever I go to add an action and I find what I want to make an action for. So in this case, I'm going to go to text and I'm going to go to text play. When I hit next, I go up in this search bar here and I know what I'm looking for. So I can just type part of uh, what it is I'm looking for. And the thing I want to search for is the set visible action. So I can just start typing in visible and it comes right up. And I'm going to make that invisible. So if we play this again, it's not there. We set it to visible or invisible. All right, a couple more things on this start of layout. I'm going to uh, set some variables. So add an action, say system set value. And I'm going to pick uh, cannon side is going to be zero. Let's add an action system set value. And uh, dead pig is going to be zero. Add another one set value of uh, game over, yes, to zero. And actually, I'm going to slide that up to the top. Let's add one more action, system, uh, set value of score to zero. So I am going to right click uh, anywhere in this empty space and add a group. And I'm going to call this initialize. And I'm going to take this entire block of code, slide it under there, and now we have a group. Uh, I am done with initialize for now. We will come back to it. I'm going to create another group. And I'm going to call this player controls. And before we add an event to that, I'm going to go uh, to our pig over here in the project panel, select the pig, and come over here. And let's start adding behaviors to some of our pieces. So the pig, 
is going to get a new behavior and I want the tween behavior. Let's add another one. I want the bullet behavior. And let's add one more. Let's add the rotate behavior. So bullet and rotate for our pig. And for the bullet, let's go down here in the properties and set our bullet speed to 1010. Uh, I have played around with this a lot. These numbers work. <laughs> we will see later. Uh, acceleration, I'm going to put at 60. And the gravity is going to be 1600. Uh, untick the set angle. And then let's come down here to rotate. And we want to rotate speed to be 400. And that should be it for that. Let's go select our carrot and come over to behaviors. Let's add a behavior and that is going to be the bullet. Add it. And that is all we need. I'm going to set the speed to 300. And I actually, I don't think that matters. We'll leave it at that, but uh, we're going to change that on the event sheet later on. Uh, untick the set angle. And then let's pick our tomato. And let's add a behavior. We are also going to add the behavior to the tomato. I'm going to set this bullet speed to zero and untick the set angle. In fact, I should have done that with the carrot. I'm gonna go ahead and set the carrot speed to zero also. All right, now that we have all our behaviors in there, I'm gonna go ahead and save. You should be saving uh, very often. Let's add some logic to our little piggy. So let's add an event. And in my meta folder, we have the touch object. Select the touch object and say on tap. So on our tap gesture, I want to, let's add an action, uh, go to our pig, and I want to set, first off, we need to set our bullet to be enabled. So let's go ahead and set that to enabled, and then come up here in initialize, let's add an action, and pick our pig, come down here and set enabled to disabled. And then we can slide this up. Uh, I'm going to slide that up to the top. Come back down here to player control. Let's pick our sprite, uh, the pig. And then we want to set the angle, uh, the, same, the angle of motion. I have my handy little chart here. If you remember, the cannon on the left side is tilted up somewhere around there. So. This is how degrees are set up inside Construct 3. So I want it to shoot the direction that the cannon is pointing. And I happen to already know what that degree is. And it's right about here, about 315. So it's going to shoot up in that direction. And then whenever we shoot from the other side, it's going to shoot up uh, right about here at 225. So this angle is from our left cannon shooting to the right, so that's going to be 315. And if I go over here to layout, I'm going to drag my pig uh, somewhere right there by the cannon. And uh, let's play this. So there's our pig. He's rotating because we didn't uh, tell him to stop rotating, but whenever I click, it shoots him in uh, the degree or the angle of 315 degrees. and it shoots him with a bullet speed of 1010 and the gravity of 1600 pulls his head down or pulls the pig <laughs> sprite down so let's do it again he shoots and gravity sh pulls him down and it's timed out to where uh, he should land very close to this area so back up in our initialized group let's add an action sprites pig go down to the rotate set enabled and we want to disable it 
So we'll put him up there. And then uh, I don't want to have my pig right there when we start out. I'm just going to put him off to the side. So now we can go back and uh, set him up. And if you remember, in our canon object on our image points, we have uh, image point one we set at the very top right corner. So right here, this top right corner right here is an image point. Let's add an action to our initialize. Go into sprites, pig, and I'm going to type in set position, and I want to set the x value to that cannon, that cannon's image point. So I'm going to type in cannon. There's cannon left. I want cannon left dot image point um, image point x and then parentheses and the image point we want is 1. So canon, uh, canon left is the object that we want to call the image point uh, x value of that first or yeah the first image point that we created. Uh, not the origin point but the first image point. So let's do the same thing for y. Let's say canon left dot image point y and parentheses 1 and done. And let's move that to the very very top. So over here on the layout we have our pig off to the side so it doesn't you don't see it when we preview it but we told it to be at uh, somewhere right about here. So let's preview that and there's our pig and he's not rotating and if we click he gets thrown to the other side. All right, making some progress. That's the basic functionality of the game and we already have it set up. So I'm going to stop this here and in the next video we are going to make it to where it stops on the cannon and that we can control it to shoot it back. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to save.